A red light. Indispensable object to create the right atmosphere. The glass cover doesn't come off. It must be attached to the base. It's too hot to screw out with my bare hands. Yes, I should be able to unscrew it with a handkerchief without burning myself. Good, I let it cool down a bit. Now I can get it. With this, the room will become a perfect dark room. Ah, you again. Where we go this time? Essex Street, Lower East Side. Okay. As long as the bed is in the way, there's no way I can open the door. Yes, this lamp is perfect to get the right atmosphere that I need to develop photographs. A basic element is missing, the film roll. This film roll contains the spicy adventures of Susan Weber with her older Beau Howard. Good, it's time to play photographer. The magnifier shoots its light beam, focusing right on the photographic paper. I take the page, and then I put it in the developing liquid, then in the fastener, and finally, I rinse it with water. I let the photograph dry for a while. Fifteen minutes, and the magic is done. Now I have a nice picture of Howard romancing with Harvey Weber's stepdaughter.
Let me guess. We have to go somewhere. 65th Street, Upper East Side. Whatever you want. Yes? It's Riley. Of course, Mr. Riley. Hi, Howard. Oh, hi again, Riley. Tell me about the offer that Marcetti made you. I understand you've also had the pleasure of speaking with Marcetti. Yes, let's say I've had the pleasure. He didn't send you here to convince me to accept his offer, did he? No one sent me. I'm just curious. His offer is very attractive, but I usually work alone. I don't like partners or investors that stick their nose in the production, or worse, in the direction. So you don't plan on accepting it? Oh no. Marsetti could offer me all the tea in China, but I'm faithful to my job and I wouldn't change it for anything. Bye, Howard. Goodbye. What do you say about these? Well, how did you get these photographs? Unlike in your movies, in real life, a detective spends most of his time trailing cheats or butlers with a nimble hand. I don't usually run into dead bodies or take exotic trips. Did you follow me to blackmail me? I'm not a blackmailer, but it looks like we have a common acquaintance, Ms. Weber. Susan? Right, Ms. Susan Weber. Howard looks like a pretty impressionable guy. I'll have to change slightly the reason why Harvey Weber hired me. Her father asked me to find her and tell him who kidnapped her. Kidnapped her? What are you talking about? I didn't kidnap anyone. You don't have to tell me that. Tell Mr. Weber. He's a six foot tall, 200 pound butcher. Not exactly the type of guy whom you can calm down by talking about the movies. Especially if you got up close and personal with his daughter. And you want to give these pictures to that man? That's what I'm paid for. I'll pay you twice as much. I'm a rich man and I can pay any amount. Don't start emptying your pockets. I've already told you I'm not a blackmailer, but you could be helpful. What do you want for these photographs? You aren't going to give them to some crazy violent guy, are you? You might be helpful for something later on. You help me and Mr. Weber will never find out about this little matter. Okay, I'll do whatever you want. But please, don't go around flashing those photographs. I have an offer for you. It looks like you're in the good graces of Marzetti, and that could be helpful. I don't get it. It's simple. Get Marzetti to leave his office long enough for me to take a look around. Are you joking? I don't want any problems. You already have problems. Having an affair with Mr. Weber's daughter wasn't a great idea, but if you do as I say, you won't have any problems. Me? I don't know how I could help you. You said that Marzetti was interested in your business. Yes. Good. Tell him that you've changed your mind. If he invites you to his office, make up something to get him to go out. You're crazy. I'll never accept Marsetti's offer. I don't care if you accept it or not. I just want Marsetti to leave his office. That's enough for me. You're terrible. Maybe you're right. Next time I see one of your movies, I'll take notes about how a gentleman detective acts. I sit at the bar and I order what, in this joint, is called a cocktail.
I see Howard passing behind me and heading upstairs, but not before tossing a malicious glance my way. Relying on that sort of producer to get Marzetti away from his office isn't a great idea, but it's the only one that comes to mind at the moment. While I wait for Howard to come back, I drink my cocktail. Simply disgusting. There's enough sugar in it to kill a diabetic. A few sips later, I see Howard coming down the stairs. This time, Marzetti and his bodyguard are with him. It looks like that two-bit producer actually did it, and I'm in the clear to go look around that big shot's office. The door is locked. I'd say it's the only way I can get in. Let's see what Marzetti's hiding. A closet. And this totem definitely takes the cake for the most garish thing in this place. I wonder how they could pick out something like this. That's an odd thing to keep on a desk. This series of discs doesn't seem like a simple knick-knack.
A safe inside a totem. I love classy things. Hmm. I need a combination to open the safe. I don't have time to figure it out. I need to find a quicker way to open it. There are some glasses on the table. I'll take one. It could be helpful. From the smell of it, I'd say that this glass had brandy in it. A safe inside a totem. I love classy things. Good idea. I can use the glass to hear when the cylinders of the lock click. I opened it. I'll take a wad. I'm sure it's dirty money, but it's better off in my pocket than in Marzetti's. Yes, I'll take it. This notebook must have important information in it if Marzetti thought it needed to be in the safe. I don't understand these idiot producers. First he wants to talk business downstairs, and then he changes his mind. He just wasted my time. Mm. Oscar, do you have the office keys? Mm. Damn it, I must have left them on Howard's table. I'm going to get them. You, stay here. Dannazione. Howard didn't keep Marzetti away for even ten minutes. I have to find a place to hide right now. Yes, a closet is a good place to hide. Hmm. I left the office open, but I was sure that I locked it. Oscar, make sure no one disturbs me. I have to make an important call. Hmm. Hello? It's Marsetti. How's the search going? You had more than two hours and you still didn't get anything? And who is this guy? Jack Del Nero. A private detective. Let me guess. Is he Italian? How do I know? Simple. That guy was here until five minutes ago. He obviously gave me a fake name. Maybe he's still in the joint. I'd better go with Oscar and ask this guy a few questions. No way! We gave you more than enough time to take care of this and you failed. And now we'll take care of it. Oscar! Mm. Let's go. We have to talk to our new friend. Something tells me that my next conversation with Marzetti won't be as cordial as the previous one. I'd better get out of here. Going out of the door is out of the question. I guess the windows are the only way out. The signboard is in my way. I'll take the spearhead. 
It's not very sharp, but it looks rather strong. Going out of the door is out of the question. I guess the windows are the only way out. Beyond this signboard, there are some fire stairs. If I could only find a way to reach them, I could get out of here. The mounting of the sign to the wall doesn't seem to be in too good condition. No clue, at least none that makes any sense. I could try to lift it with the spearhead. Let's see. Doubt Marzetti will like this. I was never a big athlete, but I don't have a choice. Just like a cat, my muscles contract and my arms work as counterweights as I get ready to jump. A not so young anymore cat with an alcohol problem and lungs full of tar. Now is not a good time to indulge in self criticism. I'd better think about it. Yeah, Slavonsky's father used to work with encryption. Maybe he can help me figure out what's in the notebook. Where you want to go this time? Essex Street, Lower East Side. Whatever you want. 